Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts and today I have a sketch for you using the Sketch Support Free Sketch number 11 by Scrapbook Generations. I'm actually going to be doing some photos of little man, Eli, uh, when he was playing soccer. Uh, this is actually a couple years ago. Uh, he looks so little in these photos. I was actually able to get just a couple of photos of the last game that they played and then uh, some photos with his coach and uh, with his team and one of the photos is actually his coach uh, just kind of taking a knee with them and um, supporting them and and you know encouraging them and I just love the way that that turned out so this layout is actually going to be a super super quick one because there's not much to it I just have basically everything soccer in this bag so um everything from a bunch of different lines there's not really a whole lot of collections with soccer i mean there's like bits and pieces of it and you can find like that paper there that has a bunch of soccer balls on it i know i do have a couple of pieces from bella boulevard but most of the time the paper is all sports it's hard to find just a single sports i know i've seen a couple of them um, but i've just been kind of collecting everything that I can in regards to anything that's soccer. So anytime I see a collection that has soccer, I'll pull the pieces from it that is soccer if it is like all sports. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my T-square ruler to make a banner on both sides. Uh, this is how I do it if it's larger than my banner punch. I use my T-square ruler, uh, measure out one side of it, and then use the cutout piece as a template for the other side so that they are even because my type A personality makes sure that they have to be even. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut that bigger piece smaller so that I can put one on each side of the layout. I just have a little piece on the right hand side and a larger piece on the left, just like the sketch calls for. Um, I do have to cut it down a little bit uh, just because I wanted more of that soccer ball paper and um, the paper on the very end has like soccer fields on it, uh, which I thought was really cool. So I just went ahead and cut it. Um, I wasn't really measuring the size of it. I just made sure that I was able to get a full line of soccer fields. Um, because I don't have a whole lot in this, I went ahead and just uh, like used the black background, as you can see. Um, and then I went ahead and matted all of the photos on white because I felt like that made it really pop on the black layout. So I'm just going to be using my We Are Memory Keepers Perfect Layer Guides. Uh, they are linked in my uh information below if you would like to pick those up those things make perfect borders around um, anything that you are trying to map in this case the photos all right so i'm gonna go ahead and lay everything down uh, using my t-square ruler or really just lining things up um, sometimes i pull that thing out and then sometimes i'm like ah, yeah it works we're gonna go with it uh, eli played soccer for a couple of years i guess uh well he played for three seasons he played uh once and twice in the fall and once in the spring and uh, he has decided that he wants to try uh, basketball so we're going to be uh, doing that this fall we actually just had his uh, sports physical and so we were just sitting there talking to the doctor you know filling out all the paperwork that is needed and I had asked that uh, you know other parents had told me that uh, they are able to kind of get a projection of how tall he might be and so a uh, doctor asked me a couple questions, put it in the computer, was looking at, uh, he is off the charts when it comes to his height. Uh, he is more than over 100% of the chart. So uh, based on the information that we have so far and where he currently is projected, he will be at least six foot four. So um, super excited about, about that and, uh, and the fact that he is going to be so super tall, so happy. Uh, for that and um you know his uh, mom and dad obviously play a big part in that but uh, i think that he's going to be excited he he talks about how tall he is he's definitely uh, one of the taller sixth graders uh, in his class so now i'm just looking through the embellishment pieces trying to find things i really like this title it's actually just it's going to be gold <laughs> that's you know going to go with it um, i tried to use that soccer man but it just wasn't working i think it wasn't enough color i I'm using obviously a lot of green because that's what's in here but I was able to find this like number one cup and it was perfect because I'm going to put it right below um, his little participation trophy. He actually 
got a trophy every year that he participated in, and then he did All Stars as well, um, and he got a medal for placing second, which I thought was kind of interesting. You get a, a participation trophy, and then you get a medal for winning second place, but is what it is. Uh, so uh, looking through again, trying to just find different pieces that will fit. I found a little soccer ball over to the right and some goalie gloves. Um, he did play goalie a couple of times, but it was definitely not his uh, forte. He's told me on several occasions when he did play goalie that he was bored most of the time. So I <laughs> uh, didn't play a whole lot of that. Went ahead and pulled out some of uh, little rhinestones stars in clear and green and added those as well. All right, so here is my final layout as well as some close-ups if you enjoyed this video. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.